Paul, what do you make of the decision? I thought the decision was sound, and I believe this committee clearly gave it a lot of thought. I was impressed by the president. I was impressed by the athletic director, but I was underwhelmed, Zubin, by Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer tonight had a chance to right some wrongs and win back some lost support, and he failed miserably. He read the statement like a hostage with a gun at his head. He came off arrogant, petulant, and I believe his biggest failing was not personally apologizing to the victim in all this, Courtney Smith. Instead, he acted like he was the victim, and that is extremely troubling. No question. For those of you that may have missed it or are just joining us here on SportsCenter tonight, the penultimate question at the press conference, which was attended by President Drake, Gene Smith, and, of course, Urban Meyer, somebody said to him, what would you say to Courtney Smith, who's at the center of this, the former wife of Zach Smith? And essentially, why don't we hear that straight from Urban Meyer? So, again, we're going to have the question posed Courtney Smith, the second to last question, the person at the epicenter of this. There were tons of questions. Nobody asked about her. At the very, very last portion of the press conference, someone said to him, what would you tell Courtney Smith? And this was Urban Meyer's response. Ultimately, I'm responsible for everyone's behavior in the football department. And uh, there was some behavior going on uh, that maybe I was unaware of, but I should have been aware of it. So I, I fully support our president's decision and uh, uh, respect it. And the second one is? What message do you have for Courtney Smith? Well, I have a message for everyone involved in this. I'm sorry that we're in this situation. And uh, I'm just sorry we're in this situation. That was the entirety of his statement. You may have heard there when Urban Meyer was asked, can you repeat that question? That was one other thing that was a tenant of this press conference, Paul, and that he seemed unfocused in every single question that was directly asked Urban Meyer. He had to ask the reporter to repeat the question as if he just wasn't there mentally or focused. I want to ask you from a bigger picture perspective. This is obviously a gigantic story in Columbus, but how do you think this decision with this program in this name a guy that's 73 and 8 with one national title has won more than 90% of his games at Ohio State. How will this decision resonate throughout the college football world? Very poorly, Zubin. And I think most people will come to the conclusion that if he was 500 or, or 600 overall and had not uh, won as many games at Ohio State or did not have three national championships in his back pocket, he probably would have been fired. And I think you, 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 we watched this all day unfold, and clearly there was a tug of war. Uh, we didn't learn a lot about that, but I, I think it's pretty obvious in my mind and others that the president wanted this suspension very badly. Urban Meyer did not, and when, when the hour became late and he realized that they could not walk out of there without a resolution, it's my opinion that he caved in, but he caved in, like, like, like I said, in, in, in a petulant in surly way, and instead of being a leader, which he is paid $8 billion a year to be, instead of showing class, he just simply walked up there like, like uh, someone in, in grade school who didn't get his way or wasn't picked to be on the team, and, and that, 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 that's disturbing. He's had three weeks to think about this, Urban, uh, uh, Zubin. Instead, instead I, I think he's been simmering at home. And uh, when, when he walked in today and found out that even though there was not uh, convincing evidence that, that, that proved him to be in, in the wrong, it was marginal evidence, he expected to get his way. And his way is, it's late August, he expected to be on that practice field today. Mm, the way Paul Feinbaum always brings it with a ton of passion and emotion, calling Urban Meyer's actions today petulant and arrogant. Certainly something we'll be watching here, and I'm sure you will be talking about it on your show tomorrow afternoon on the SEC Network. Paul, thanks for the perspective. Appreciate it tonight. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.